Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday morning in the old cookbook show. Today's old cookbook, Bananas Take a Bow. Um, so on Wednesday's episode, we unboxed some new additions to the uh, to the collection, um, and they're all sent in by viewers. Thank you very much for sending them in. Love getting new cookbooks. And I got some really interesting cookbooks this time around. And a couple of them I want to spend a lot more time with before I do a recipe from them. Cross-reference them. There was one from the Ford Motor Company that is just at the outside edge of the time frame that we collect. Um, but it's already come in handy in a baked bean recipe that we're doing uh, this week. Totally unrelated, but it was kind of cool just to see a different take on a baked bean recipe. I want to do a recipe out of the banana books that came. Uh, bananas Take a Bow, and this one is also Bananas Take a Bow, from 1939. Um, it's interesting because this one is from the Mellow Ripe Fruit Company, and this one is from the Fruit Dispatch Company. So, different importers. Um, I know that a lot of these banana importers are all intertwined and eventually become United Fruit, which eventually becomes Chiquita. And they were all, uh, they were all part of, you know, a dark part of history, which is corporate colonialism um, in Central America. But they're all trying to sell bananas. Really what it comes down to is they all wanted to make as much money as they possibly could from growing and selling bananas um, and squeezing as much profit as they could out of every step in the process. So we're going to make something called banana scallops. We're going to go through the recipe. I came across a recipe very similar to this. Um, the only difference is that it wasn't rolled in cornflakes. It was from the 1880s in the Buckeye cookbook. Um, didn't use cornflakes because cornflakes hadn't yet been invented. They don't show up until the early 1900s, I think like 1906 or 1907. But essentially the same idea. And this is a, this is, this is a way that, you know, you would often eat a plantain today, fried with sugar on it. Um, this one doesn't contain any sugar, it's just fried in hot oil. The bananas are dipped first in an egg wash, so we'll get the egg beat up here. Now, we'll deal with the banana. The banana I have is yellow but there's still a little bit of green at the top here. The back page of this book tells you what stage of ripeness to use for each preparation. And it pretty much goes against what is considered in 2024, at least, um, how you would do this. Tipped with green, you eat it cooked or as a vegetable. You present it at the table as a vegetable. All yellow, it's yellow ripe. That's when you use it for muffins and bread. Flecked with brown, that's when you're supposed to just eat it out of your hand. Um, I find that interesting because today people would argue that uh, flecked with brown is when you make bread or put it in muffins and stuff like that. Okay, so now we cut the banana into chunks. Just like that. Now. We just dip the banana in the egg and then roll it in some cornflakes. Um, seems pretty straightforward. I'm only doing one banana, so I think I can dip them all at the same time. Now the oil should be hot enough. I think my oil was maybe a little on the hot side, uh, but we're going to be okay. I'm going to say these are done. So out of the oil and onto a tray with a cloth. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Jules. Hey, friends. What you got in the pan? Banana scallops. Banana, banana scallops. Banana scallops. 
I'm not sure how to say. So they're bananas or they're scallops? They're bananas. The bananas to look like scallops. I see that. Yep. So they're bananas uh, rolled in a little bit of egg, and then cornflake, crushed cornflakes. I could have crushed the cornflakes more. I probably could have put them through a mortar and pestle or um, into a food processor. Okay. They needed to be really fine. I think they need to be really fine, but who knows? So it's cool banana. I like fried bananas. Now it says to uh, serve very hot. Uh. That frightens me, <laughs> yes. but you know, I'm, I'm willing to get myself a fork. Anything that comes out of a deep fat fryer, fryer uh, uh, could be unbearably hot. Yeah. Right. Uh, for some reason I want to put cream on it, but we'll see. Well, there's, and there's no sugar. But there's banana. Go ahead, jump in. I know, oh, it's soft in the middle, as it should be. It's just been cooked. I'm afraid of the, is it too hot? Am I gonna get hurt? I'm gonna get hurt. I'm gonna hold on a second. I'm gonna talk amongst my, fr with my friends for a while. I'm sure it's very tasty, but that looks unbearably hot. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna be okay? Mm -hmm. I should wait for a moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll lean a little bit about bananas while I wait. Okay, <laughs> serve very hot. Maybe not, not that, that hot. very hot. <laughs> oh, I like that it says heat, heat fat to 375 or until one inch cube of bread will brown in 40 seconds. 40 seconds, yeah. I was, that's, I was, a great, that's a great measure though. I was a little hot. I was a little hot. I, I always like the Practical measures, because mm -hmm. you know what's three seventy five. Okay, if you've ever had a deep fried plantain, the texture on this is a little softer, mm -hmm. a little mushier, but it's got that same great flavor. Except you always get all the brown sugars and I know, I know. This would be butter, some powdered sugar over the top of this. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It is kind of crispy on the outside though, which is surprising. Yeah. It's still too hot though. I'll, I'll take a little of that though. There we go. <coughs> a little powdered sugar on top. There you go. Mm. <coughs> Still too hot? Mm -mm. No? Oh, the powdered sugar. Don't inhale when you're eating the powdered sugar. Okay, so that's pretty good. It's still too hot. I mean, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a thing. To, okay. to bring out the oil to deep fry. But if I suppose if you were. I think by the time you made a, a you know, the six banana version that they've got yep. there, it would be the first ones would be cool enough maybe to eat. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty neat though. I mean, cause if, if they were cooled a bit with the icing sugar on them, they'd actually be a super fun little treat. Yeah. Kids would love them. Kids, Kids would love them. Dip them in chocolate. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of things you could do with them. This is. Oddly, I want to have another one. I, me too. So, apparently banana scallops aren't as funny as I thought they were going to be because I'm enjoying them. Um, the name's still kind of quirky though. A little bit. I would probably come up with something else. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.